Hey, so today I'm going to kind of teach you um, just how to test your device. Um, one of the most common things is people aren't sure if their iConnect MIDI 1 or their Mio uh, or any device, I guess for that matter, is actually getting MIDI data from the keyboard or whatever controller you're using into your computer. Um, so I'm going to test this out on a Mac today and show you a way. So I'm just going to power up this guy. Um, so what we need to do is both these ends, I'm not sure how well you can see it, but they have MIDI in on the white end and MIDI out on the black end. So I'm going to use the MIDI out, the black end, to go into MIDI in, which I have to look at a little closer because it's not very bright. Um, and then the white end, which is MIDI in, goes to the MIDI out. There we go. So now those are set up, let's get it on, and when you get the MIDI 1, you can attach this little piece, so I'm going to do that, I'm going to stick it in here, the extra USB on my device. So now what's a great way to check it? Some people don't have a DAW, if you have a DAW, of course you can go in and kind of check it out, but um, a better way to do that is actually to use what's built in on an Apple device. Um, so if I use the audio MIDI setup, here we go. You see I have way too many devices that are here, but one of the devices right here, if you can see that, is the iConnect MIDI 1. Um, and depending on what version of Mac software, this page will look a little different. Um, standard when you type in audio mini setup so if i went audio mini setup which is that's how i got to this page sorry i did that really quick um you click on this little app and that's how i ended up in here um uh, but normally it doesn't open with that page normally it opens on this page this is the only page that you see and you're like well, i don't know where to check this so if you want to check out that uh the other page that i have right here just go to window and then go show MIDI Studio. Obviously it says hide now because I have it up. Um, so you just need to go to that. So you'll find this little guy. You can see it's actually kind of lighter than these like grayed out boxes here. Um, so that'll, that'll know that it's actually connected to the device. Now the next thing we have to figure out is, is it actually receiving MIDI data? So the way to do that is to hit this test setup button. Now, if you're on uh, Sierra, uh, it's actually just going to look like a little keyboard. It doesn't say anything under it. Um, it's just the way they have it on the new one, but it's the same thing. So we just hit test setup and you can hear it. Can you hear that noise? You might be able to hear this little clicking noise, but that's coming through here. Um, and you can also see the, um, the little arrow in under is actually lighting up. Um, so that shows that the MIDI data from the device is actually getting into your computer. Now, where you're transferring it from there, that might be something you have to troubleshoot with the specific software that you're having to use. But this should help you, uh, let you know that your cable's actually working correctly, um, the keyboard is outputting MIDI, and it's re being received by the computer. Um, so this way you don't have to worry about anything. Another nice little uh, thing to use might be something like MIDI monitor. Uh, I'm not sure if I have it on here. Yeah, there we go. So mini monitor, you can see it's currently receiving a ton of clock from this guy. Uh, but you can just go under this little sources drop down, MIDI sources, and you can look at all the devices. Obviously, I have a ton of devices right now that are connected, so we're getting a lot of info. But you could just check off the MIDI one, and you would see just the information from that. So hopefully that helps you out in testing your device and finding out where the issue might lie, if it's with your keyboard, if it's with your cable. Um, obviously the best idea is that it's not getting to your computer is to make sure your connections are good, but then also try another keyboard, uh, another controller with the DIN ports on them, um, just to make sure it's not the actual keyboard itself. Some keyboards you need to actually go into the preferences, um, and switch it to DIN, um, from USB. Um, a great example would be like a Nord, um, standardly it actually comes with the DIN ports, uh, out, I believe and then you have to switch to USB. So um, just, just something else to check out, but that's a great way to troubleshoot and figure out where the block of MIDI data is coming from with any of your devices.